Tick Pulse has hit the trading app store. It just it, it was just released today, March the 13th, and so you can get a free trial. You click here, seven day free trial, and we just re-released this for one minute bars, and we can't put performance on here, but I'm I'm going to show you the images. So you can look at some of the images here. Here's a short trade on December the 17th. Here is a long trade on December the 26th. So you can get an idea of how this works. It's a trend-based strategy. Want to capture the trend before it's before it's too late. You know, you, you get some trades like this in narrow volatility where it makes just a little bit, and then you get um, you know say bearish trades like this. Um, that that was back on December the 4th, and so you can see the indicator. You get the indicator as well, and here is some of the inputs for this. And the default, you see the default inputs. So, um, no max daily entries, no max daily loss. Um, you're taking long and short trades. You're using a limit order. We're not using the VWAP filter. We're not using the VIX filter for longs or shorts. So, th those are things you could add if you wanted to. Um, um, PTS, long and short, that's just. If, it, if you get a long signal, you buy an X bar at the close minus 0.5. If you get a short signal, close plus 0.5 on a limit. And so that's how that works. If you set um, limit order to false, it'll just enter as a market order. And so you can use a limit order or market order. And sometimes, you know, in a fast market, you might not get a limit filled, but uh, 0.5 is not much in the E-mini S&P these days. And so um, use tick pulse ranges that's false too you can also test that out um, L1 stays the same this is the same strategy that we had before in 15 second charts we're just changing the tick pulse long and tick pulse short the first series to 150 instead of 250 and we're changing the stop loss from a thousand back back to 600 from our uh, latest release on the 15 second chart and so you can see the rest of these inputs start time finish time um, for the long and short side as well as the exit times. You need to change those if you are on a different time zone than Eastern Standard Time. For example, um, long start time would be 8.35 Central Time, 7.35 Mountain Time, 6.35 Pacific Time. We cannot put this strategy on uh, exchange time because it uses NYC TIC and CBOE VIX and those are on different time zones and so you have to use local time when you have multiple data, data series and the data is from different time zones and so you have to use local time zone and you have to change the time based inputs which are the last one two three four five six inputs for your difference from eastern standard time to use this strategy again you get a seven day free trial in the trading app store I'll show you this also in ninja trader as well so here it is in ninja trader the average trade profit is lower um, I'll show you the performance again in TradeStation here, but here's the comparison. Here's the equity curve. So nice results. A period of time here where interest rates were below zero, where it was not as profitable, and now uh, volatility picks up, and so the equity curve, looking for potential equity curves to um, continue to move like this going forward. So um, that's and NinjaTrader 8, there's different inputs in it. Does The NYC tick works different in different platforms, and so you're going to get different results if you have a different data feed than the TradeStation data feed for this. And so um, let's look at the results in TradeStation once again. So here are the results in TradeStation going back about a, a year, I guess. And so 67 trades, low-frequency strategy now, 152 average trade profit over the past year. Not able to post performance summaries on the TradeStation trading app store. They don't let you do that. Um, and there's more data going back to 2003 on, on the website. I'll show you where that is as well. So you can find this on the website. If you go here, tick Pulse, V12, E-mini S&P, you can look at the performance summaries going back on the left to 2003. And then on the right to 2007, you see since 2007, the average trade profit is 99.48. The average trade profit since 2003 is 69.59. So that's the update for um, Tick Pulse. You see the inputs here, the description of the inputs. And once again, you can get a free trial in the trading app store.